I've heard you say that memes must be subservient to genes, but also that we must rebel against mm. our genes. Wouldn't rebelling against our genes be a set of memes? Help me reconcile the contradiction. Well, no, I think your question reveals that you get the problem. It's not yeah. a simple one. We are wired such that our cultural nature is subservient to our genetic nature. But if you can hear this podcast, you can also hear me say, if you knew what your genes were willing to do in the service of spreading them, you'd throw up, right? No, it's absolutely despicable some of what they want. Now, some of what they want you to do is absolutely beautiful, right? But to choose that part of what your genes want you to do that is honorable and decent and fits who you claim to be and to reject that part that is despicable and, and uh, destructive and not who you want to be, that's the sweet spot. So you're already in rebellion, right? Now, the question is not can you rebel. Of course you can rebel. The question is can you rebel without providing an advantage to those who don't rebel, those who will do everything their genes want them to do? That's the deep question. I don't think anybody knows for sure what the answer to that question is. I can tell you that I don't know of any reason that that is impossible, but I do not think it is a simple process. We have to figure out how it is that we rebel against the portion of what our genes want us to do that does not fit our understanding of ourselves without providing advantage to those who refuse to join us in that process. And as far as I see, either we figure that out or we're cooked. <laughs>